Good afternoon, everybody. Mr. Kylie here with Martial Arts America, Team Navarre. This is the Little Dragon class. Today is Wednesday, April 8th, and so make sure you guys comment below when you guys check in so we can get you guys marked on your attendance card. Okay, other, other than that, okay, the goal is to review what we worked on on Monday to sharpen up that explosive dragon, to work on the axe kick with both legs, to finish off that self defense now that we have the final grand finale move in there and in your form, and then also kind of focus in a little bit on your balance kicks and see how well that's going. Hope that's going well. And feet together bow also checking in on our flexibility tests shake your hands out and our coordination tests and our strength challenges from last week up and down side to side reach up tall reach down low reach up tall hop up and down good reach down low reach up step out with your feet keep those legs straight and strong we're gonna balance remember it's balance week lean backwards bring your head forwards See how low you can go without actually touching the ground. Can you get your nose almost here? Over to the left side. Over to the right side. Back to the middle. Grab both legs with both hands. Good. Hands in the middle lightly. You're not leaning on them. Just lightly for balance. You're going to bend your left knee. Keep this foot flat on the ground so you can stretch out the inside of your leg so you have more balance when you lift that leg up in the air to do those balance kicks. Switch sides. Sit all the way down, heels, toes touching, bottoms of your feet together. Try to keep rigging. We're working on posture. Try to keep your back straight and tall as you push those knees towards the ground. Woo. Push those legs out. Remember, if you've already done your balance test, you can do it again. You can do it as many times as you would like until the due date. Okay, so I want to say Thursday night, okay, when we end. And so that you can try to see how many you can possibly get between now and then. And both legs out, our full split challenge. Maybe your parents are stretching as well. We talked about throwing this full split challenge out for the parents as well. Seeing so, you know, if you stretch and just do any kind of some calisthenics in the morning or some stretching in the morning or at nighttime or both. See how flexible we can get over a calendar month if we do it every single day, creating those positive habits. Over to the left side. Switch. Stretching a little bit longer today, which is not just good. Okay, stretch a little bit longer is a good thing. Make sure dragons are staying focused on what you're doing to the middle. Make sure you're breathing as well. Grab your legs. Pull them in. Shake it out. Stretch down as far as you can. Shake it out. Stretch down as far as you can. Very good. Now let's stand all the way up, feet together. Bow. Now we're going to work on warming up our body a little bit. Got to get it moving. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is some high knees. We're going to pump those knees, pump those legs, okay? So your hands are at about belt high, and then we're going to run just in place. You're going to pump those legs up for 10 seconds. I'm going to count it out loud, and you're going to stay with me. Try to get those knees high. Try to stay light on your feet. Ready? Hands out. Bring your feet up to your, your knees up to your hands. Ready? And go. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Excellent job. Okay, next thing we're going to work on, now that our blood's pumping a little bit, okay, we're going to work on your jumping jacks. We started working on last week, kind of putting these things together. We're going to see you guys again in that first little dragon class, whenever that is. Okay, we should have the most amazing little dragons doing the most amazing jumping jacks ever. I'm really excited to see that, okay? So hands in. Let's break it down again one more time. Hands come up. Hands slap back down. Swing them up and stop them and bring it back down nice and strong. Very good. And then your feet, pop them out. Try to stay just on the balls of your feet, just on the pads of your feet. Pop them back in. So you're kind of on your tippy toes a little bit. Back out, back in, and then, then double jump. So you're going to jump out and then right back in. So it's one, two, and then back together. Those are the only two positions your feet are in. You jump them out, you jump them back in. Okay, now you're going to combine your feet with your hands, move by move. Ready? So jump them out and leave them there. Hands out and leave them there. And then everything, your next jump, when your feet come together, your hands and your arms come by your side. Good. Jump it out. Back in. Jump it out. Back in. And then just speed that up a little bit, switching those places. Out and in. Out and in. And out and in. And out. And out and good. Okay, now we're going to go into key my stance. Take a step out with those feet. Bend your knees. Hands up by your chin. Good. Left hand is out. 
And make sure little things, like when you punch, there's a solid place for your punch to go. So if you're looking at me and you're, I'll move a little bit closer, maybe you're aiming at me right towards my nose or towards my chest. And you have one target. When you punch, both punches, each hand punches the same target. Okay, so instead of hitting two different targets, make sure if you're looking at me, you're hitting the same exact target. You're finding some place, whether it's my right here or my nose, good, or my chin, or my somewhere on the middle of me, and that's where you're aiming at. That's where you're punching towards, okay? Left hand out, one punch, bend those knees, and go. It's also good to key up and be loud and strong and breathe. Go, yeah, good, ready, go, go. Breathe in, breathe out. Lower yourself down nice and strong. Other hands by your chin. Make sure your elbows down, no chicken wings. And go. Good, go. One more time. Ooh, I'm trapped with the cord. Good, got it. And go. This time, two punches. Ready, go. Go. Good, go. Nice job. Feet together. Bow, let's warm up our leg with those ax kicks like in our form and in our self-defense. Okay, so we're here. Okay, we have our axe kick that swings up and down nice and strong. Ready, go. Swing it and drop it. Try to make sure when you do your axe kick, your hands stay up by your chin the whole time. Ready, go. Good. Put it back where you got it. One more time on this side. Ready, go. Excellent job. Switch those feet. Now we're using your left leg. Trying to make sure you switch those feet and your, your axe kick comes from the back. So if your right leg's in the back, you're using that right leg. If your left leg is in the back, remind yourself to use the other one and make sure it goes the correct way. Okay, because if you're doing the axe kick with your left leg, it's got to travel, kind of follow my hands, and then drop straight down. So it's got to come this way. Very good. Ready? Left leg, turn, pivot the foot, swing it, and drop it. One more time, and go. Very good. So now we're going to, this is the tough drill. Okay, we're going we're gonna to warm up our body again by switching axes. Okay, that means you're going to do an axe kick with your right leg and then quickly jump and switch stances and do an axe kick with your left leg. You ready? Me too. So just stay with me. Ready? Hands up. Right leg's in the back. Make sure it goes this way and then drop straight down. Ready? Go. And drop and then switch feet. And then go. Put it in the back. Switch feet. Very good. Right leg's in the back. Right leg, go. See so if you're keeping your hands up the whole time. Switch feet. Left leg in the back. Ready? Go. Put it in the back, jump and switch feet. Right leg, come up more times. Boom, now we're just gonna pick up speed. Left leg, switch feet. Right leg, switch feet. Left leg, keep going, switch feet. Right leg, one more time. Heads up nice and strong, left leg. Very good, feet together and bow. So now let's put all of that into your explosive dragon, adding on that last final finishing move. Ready? It's about to say martial arts, America, Explosive, dragon, step back, hands up, oh yeah! Okay, so first move is what? Say it out loud, back fist, very good. Pivot, throw a punch with which part of your hand? Your knuckles, very good. Hands up by your chin, ax kick, put it back where you got it, and then what kind of block? It's a letter, is it an H block or a B block? It's an X block, very good, over your head, nice and strong. Drop down to your knee, left knee's up, right knee's down, hands are by your, say chin, very good. Punch with your right hand, punch with your left hand. This is the new move, right? Show me your hands, turn them to the side, pull them in nice and strong, and then as you push them out, you're gonna glue them together like this. So you're gonna make them come together in the middle, hitting the middle, ready, one more time, pull them back like this, and strike and go, ah, yeah! very good. Okay, remember this is called, repeat after me, say double, Double means both. Say double, palm, heel, strike. Okay, double means two. Palm, heel is with these parts here. This is your hand. This is your palm. This is the heel of your palm. So this is what you're hitting with right here, the little pad part. Okay, so it's a double palm heel strike. So you're using both of them. Good. Both of the palm heels striking forward. So you have to really pull those fingers back nice and strong. Very good. Let's walk through our form again. Ready, step back, hands up. Ayah! Good. This time, instead of saying the names of the moves, we're just going to key up and be really focused on our intensity of the form. Ready? And back fist. ay -yah! Ready? Punch. ay -yah! Hands up. Axe kick. Got to hear you. Put it back behind you. Sharp fingers. Make sure eyes go up first. X block. Awesome job. Drop down to your knee. Hands up. Which hand do you punch with first? Good. Right hand. Very good. And left hand. Excellent job. Show me the palms of your hands. Curl those fingers if you can. Try to not do it like this. Good. So if you need to, just keep your hands flat like you're doing a high five, and then turn them sideways. Pull them back in. Double strike out. Ayah! Just like that. Keep them sideways. If it goes from here 
to there, like a stop, then you could hurt your fingers. So keep them sideways, kind of like in your choke defense. Right, ready? So now, yep, one more time. This time we're gonna really work on the focus part of the form. So I'm not gonna say anything. I'm just gonna do the form and your job is to do the move stronger than me. Good, ready? together. Pull it in tight, finish out, say little, dragon, team. Okay, so moving real quick into our balance test. I want to make sure I cover this. We covered it on Monday, and I saw a lot of you guys were doing it, which is amazing, but I want to make sure we get some practice in and some kind of things to look for, okay? So I'm going to grab a chair real fast. If you need to grab something to hold on to, you can. Again, for your balance test, you're not allowed to hold on to anything, okay? But I just want to kind of have this here just in case right now. We're going to move it away in a second. Okay, so what I want you to do is take your right leg, and put it towards the front. So instead of me kicking this way, you're gonna kick towards me. Okay, and so what you're gonna do is you're here, and your right leg is facing me, so our belly buttons are going this way. Hands are up, and notice our feet are basically together. Good, because I want you to lean onto this back leg to show me that balance. Okay, so you're gonna take your right leg, the one in the front. I'm gonna back up a little so you can see me. Good, and then what you're gonna do to get your balance correctly is you're gonna take your feet first, and I want you to take your toes and point them at the walls, like that. So you take your right foot, you point those toes towards me, you take your left foot, that's the one behind you, and then point them the other way. So your feet are going opposite directions, okay? And then from there, take your leg closest to me, the one I'm pointing at, good, and you're gonna pull it behind you just like a flamingo, good, it's the one that's in the front, the one pointing at the camera, and then pick it up and point your knee towards me. See how my knee's pointing at you? Take that knee and point it towards me, and then point your toes to me, pull it back, put it down. Very good. Okay, this time we're going to do two in a row. Try to keep your balance. Leaning back is okay as long as it doesn't make you fall over. Lean back just a little bit. Ready? And then one, two. Back down. Good. This time we're going to go for three. Okay, the trick is if you feel yourself start to wobble or start to shake like you're going to fall down, instead of kicking all the way to the ground, Good. The moment you feel yourself start to lose balance, stop kicking, keep your leg up, and then try to bend your knee and find your balance. Again, it's really hard to find your balance while you're kicking. So what you'll do instead, we're going to do three kicks together. You lift it up and you go one, and if you start to stumble, then you stop kicking. Good. Maybe bounce around a little bit and regain your balance. When you find it again, try to start kicking again. Okay, but the trick is, if you're hoping to get whether it's five kicks or 25 kicks or 125 kicks, no matter how many kicks you want to do, you have to kind of kick slow. Okay, you don't have to kick in slow motion, but if you kick as fast as you can, a lot of times it's going to make your body shake, and that's what makes you fall down. So dragons, make sure you'll notice my leg. You're going to do it with me. We're going to do five. Okay, we can do this. Ready? Pick it up and go. One, two, three, four, five. See how I'm kicking good, strong kicks, but I'm not kicking as fast as I can. Because sometimes when you kick as fast as you can, it tends to make you fall over. So slow the kick down just a little bit. Okay, ready? Now we're going to do 10. Let's see if we can do 10. Hands up and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten. That's a lot. Okay. In a second, we're going to try 15 and just see how that goes. Okay. Now, the next challenge I want you to work on when you're kicking, and it's okay to kind of have a chair next to you while you're doing this. These don't count as your balance kicks if you're holding on to something, but it does count as practice, and practice is really important and helpful right now. Okay. When you're doing your balance kicks, again, you don't want to be leaning and wobbling. Okay. You want to have a little lean, but you don't want to be leaned all the way over. And it's really important to make sure that the leg that's pointing at me, the one you're going to kick with, you have to keep your knee very still. Okay, if you're kicking and you're kicking, and I, lo I love strong kicks, but if you're kicking so strong that your knee is moving, see how my leg is moving? All that movement knocks me down. So instead, try to make the kick real strong, but try to make sure your knee stays in place, and all that moves is your foot. So my knee stayed there, it's still here, it's still there, it's still here. So that's kind of your challenge. I thought one of the harder parts of the balance test is not kicking as hard as you can. Good. You don't want to kick as fast as you can or as hard as you can. I, you want to kick as best as you can. Make sure the kicks are the best ones you can do. They're slow. They're smooth. They're easy. They're focused. They're balanced. Okay, so now we're going to try for 15. Let's do our best. If your foot falls down, just pick it back up and let's keep going. Ready? 
and go. One, two, three, four, Ooh. five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Awesome job. And it's okay if your kicks aren't all the way up to your belt. As long as they're above your knee, that's kind of my goal. I'm, I'm good with that. Good to say that goes for you too as well, parents. If you guys are doing your, your part of the challenge at home, I appreciate that. That's really awesome. Uh, kind of challenging your kids there. Just make sure, again, the kick can be knee high is fine. I just would like it to be not down there. Good, pick the leg up just a little bit. Lean, and you kind of, the first part of it is kind of finding almost like scales, balancing. And so kind of finding where that sweet spot is for you to kind of get that leg up and be able to keep that balance. And then you'll pull. So that's another way for, especially for the parents to do it, if you're not trying to kick super high, is to keep your legs straight at first to make sure you know what it feels like to have that leg extended so you can find the balance at that point. So from here, you'll lift. And see so how my body's kind of leaning back like a scale. So I kind of lean over. I find where that sweet spot is. And then now I can repeat that motion as many times as I can with the top of my foot. Good. And again, you don't have to have a target to, to kick with. You can just kick to the air as long as you know they're awesome kicks. If you have a target that helps, just make sure the kicks are still strong. Okay, next thing we're going to work on okay, is your self-defense. Ready, Dragon? So you're here. Bow. Okay, self-defense is instead of doing the strikes first, you're doing the block first. That X block, nice and strong. Good. Ready stance just like this. Okay, ready? Nice and strong. Okay, the first thing is hands come in. Very good. Something that's coming down on top of us, so we're going to step back with that foot. Good. This is called a front stance. You're a little bit stronger. And then from here, you're going to X block over your head. Make sure it's a wide X block. If you're crossing at the fingers, you're not going to have enough room to block whatever's coming down. I have to cross at the wrists. That's where your hands bend at. That's what you cross at. Good. And then from there, I leave my left hand up. I pull my right hand down. I pivot and I punch with my right hand. And then now both hands come down, and I throw an axe kick with my right leg. Bow, just like that. Okay, so it's X block, punch, axe kick. Ready? Step back and block. Pull down, punch. What do you do when you punch? Hear it? Good. You pivot. Ready? You pivot your foot, and then your both hands come up, and you axe kick. And set it in the front nice and softly. Good. One more time. Ready? Hands up, and axe kick. Punch, X block. Okay, now to kind of challenge you guys here and see if you're focused and paying attention. Good, I'm going to have a target and a noodle. Your job is to stay focused on me. Good, and try to work those moves, but it, it depends on what I use. And so if I swing this down, of course, that's your X block. Very good. If I show you the pad like this, that's your punch, and you're pointing those knuckles at me. If I flip the pad over, that's your axe kick. Very good. Okay, so again, I'm going to go in order at first. So you can do the moves correctly. And then we're going to stay in a guard stance, and I'm going to go completely out of order and do different things, and you have to kind of stay focused on what I'm doing. Ready? Starts first with an X block. Did your foot step back? So make sure when your hands go above your head, your foot has to step back behind you so you have more balance. Ready? So show me the X block. And then show me the punch. Make sure is your foot pivoting when you punch. Good. Are you hitting with these knuckles? That is so important. If you notice that when you punch, you're hitting like that, like you're knocking on a door, you could hurt your hand. So instead, you have to make sure your hand's straight. You push those knuckles, good, of your right hand straight towards me in a straight line. It's not like you're throwing a ball. It's like you're pushing out those, you're giving somebody knuckles. We do that in class a lot, right? And so from here, let's start over. X block, very good. Keep the left hand on it. Pivot, punch with the knuckles of your right hand and then both hands by your chin, and swing it this way, and drop it to your axe kick. Very good, ready, one more time, X block, punch with the knuckles, pivot the foot, keep that hand by the chin, good, left hand is up, still blocking this, and axe kick. Okay, faster now, ready, axe, axe yep, X block, punch, keep the hand up here, left hand's up here, right hand's on the pad, and then both hands come in, and axe kick, very good. This time without saying anything, ready? Just like that. Okay, now again, I'm gonna go out of order. So I might do axe kick first, I might do punch, I might do X block. They're gonna go random, and you're going to do that move and then come back to guard stance. So if I put the pad here, you do a punch and come back to guard stance. If I swing this, you would X block and then come back to guard stance. And then, of course, that will be your axe kick. Ready? What's now? Punch. Very good. How about, gotta focus on it. How about now? That's your axe kick. Very good. Is it going inside to out? As in, is your leg swinging this way and dropping down? I hope so. Ready? Solid block. Very good. Ready? And 
punch, excellent. Punch again. X block again. How about now? And how about now? A little bit higher. Good. No, I'm going kind of too fast. Ready? Excellent. Good. Punch in the axe, fall, axe, axe kick. Very good. I keep mixing those up. One more time. And we'll do it backwards. Axe kick. Punch. X block. Very good. And feet together. And bow. Awesome job. And then take, we'll take one minute real fast and just review your choke defense to make sure because those moves in your choke defense are kind of also hiding a little bit in your form. One of them is. Okay. So again, hands in. If the hands go on, your hands turn upside down. And you just want to make sure you're pushing. When you push those hands up, defending against the choke. So if I'm reaching towards you, good. If I'm trying to get your neck or your shoulders, good. When your hands swing up, what are they hitting? Where are they hitting? Good. They should be hitting right behind the elbow. Good, because right on the elbows where it's hard and it hurts, if you hit it, good, it's pokey. Behind, soft and squishy, so you're trying to hit that muscle. If you hit the muscle enough, it makes the hands open up. So one more time with me, your hands strike out, using those still, those palm heel strikes that we used before in our form. Good, you're using those again, striking out behind the arm, and then you put them back like this, and then the same exact move you do in your form, you just do it from standing up, that double palm heel strike. So you strike out just like that, trying to roll those fingers back the best you can. And then from there, with the choke defense, it's actually a back leg front kick, whoosh, which is a different kick entirely. So that's going to be one of the bigger challenges for you guys is this rotation. We have three kicks to get good at. You have your axe kick. You have your round kick for balance week. Good. And we also have our front kick for your choke defense. Those kicks are different. So you might want to practice all of them to make sure you can do all the different ones. You know which part of the foot you're kicking with and why the kicks are different. Okay, so a lot of challenges there. Now to finish off class, we're going to work Explosive Dragon one time faster. Good, again, I'm going to start to speed the form up a little bit. Your job is to stay with me. We're nice and loose now, so it should be easy. Ready? And go. Martial Arts, America, Explosive Dragon. Oh, yeah, stay with me. Ready? And back fist, punch, axe kick, X block, drop down, hands up, punch right hand, punch left hand, pull it back, double palm, no strike. Ready, go. Oh, yeah. Very good. And feet together. Pull it in tight. Finished outside. Let all. Dragon team. Bow. Okay, and then go like this. Position number four. We practiced that last time. What was position number four? Do you remember? You have your hands out. Go ahead and you take this hand that's open. You just put the back of your hand right here behind your belt like that. You take your other hand. You make a tight fist with it. You put that on the open hand. So it looks like this. This is our listening, our focus position. So if I say position number four, you go flat hand and then strong hand, the back of your fist. Hear it? It's going on that open hand. So you can listen. Very good. Okay, double checking things. We have our balance kicks. Hope you guys are doing those. Maybe your challenge one is to do it with your good, strong, favorite leg, as many as you can do. Good. Our, our secondary challenge is doing it with your opposite leg or not his favorite leg. There's also a challenge for your parents to get involved or your siblings to get involved and do 25 kicks the best you can. And again, dragons, the number of kicks you need for your stripe or for your for that part of what we're working on, if you're a little dragon white belt, you need five kicks in a row. And again, that's without your foot touching the ground. So that's you chamber it. One, two, three, four, five, and then down. Every time it touches the ground, it resets and starts back over at one. Okay, little dragon yellow belts need 10 kicks, so it goes by increments of five. Oranges need 15, greens need 20, blues need 25, purples need 30, and then browns need 35, reds need 40, and then black belts need 45 or 50. Either one's fine with me. If you 50 gets you on the little dragon balance board, so if you want to go ahead and just knock out 50, I'm okay with that. Good. If you want to, if for anybody, if you get 50 or more, that puts you on the balance board. So that's kind of your, your challenge is to get as many kicks as you possibly can. And again, dra dragons, I trust you guys. We're going by the honor policy. Okay. And so doing the very best you can and giving us real numbers so that when we come back, you know, next time we can see what those real numbers are and every belt going forward, we can grow that number and make it better. Okay. Thank you guys so much for being here. That'll do it. If you want to do the class one more time between now and next Monday, just stay sharp and fresh. That'll be awesome. So we'll have new challenges for you next week and feed together. If you have any questions, feel free to check us on Facebook or give us a call or an email and bow. Very good today, guys. You are dismissed.